Hey there, Dr. Mamina here, and today we're gonna to get into a topic that I honestly can't even believe people are saying and believing right now. It's actually a little bit disturbing. So over the last year, I've been seeing claims circulating on TikTok and Instagram that sunscreen is causing cancer, including skin cancer. This is actually the complete opposite, and this is causing more fear in the skincare industry than anything I've ever seen before. So let's get into why this myth has been trending across the internet and why it's completely untrue. Okay, so let me start by giving some background on where these claims originated. So in 2021, a report revealed detectable levels of benzene, a known carcinogen in some sunscreens. This was definitely concerning for a lot of people, but it's crucial to understand that benzene is not an ingredient in sunscreen. It's actually a contaminant. Benzene, unfortunately, is very prevalent in our environment. You can get exposed through car exhaust, going to the gas station, or even using various household products. Of note, benzene has been associated with certain blood disorders like leukemia. So clearly benzene is bad, we don't like it, and it's just unfortunate that it is prevalent in our environment. But I have to reiterate this again, benzene is not a sunscreen ingredient. So since this report came out, all contaminated sunscreen products have been recalled or reformulated. So should you be worried about your sunscreen? No, but I can understand how reports like this can make one concerned about sunscreen. If you are concerned at all when choosing a sunscreen, opt for zinc-based lotions or creams and always keep an eye out for updates on product safety. And the reason I say look for zinc-based or mineral-based sunscreens or creams is because most of the reports found benzene as a contaminant in sunscreens that were chemical-based as well as aerosol-based sunscreens. Not all aerosol sunscreens obviously had this contaminant, but that was sort of the trend that we saw in these reports. So aside from this report of contaminated sunscreens, I wanna dive into other top theories I have for why people think sunscreen is carcinogenic. Next, let's discuss the correlation between increased skin cancer rates and increased sunscreen usage. So over the past 50 years, as sunscreen use increased, so did skin cancer detections. But this isn't a direct causation, it's just a correlation. And sadly, based on this statistic, people think that it's the sunscreen that's causing the higher skin cancer detection rate. But we're actually seeing more skin cancer because people are spending way more time outdoors and using tanning beds, which are actually significant factors for skin cancer. Also, when you're spending more time outside without the right level of protection, UV rays are actually causing more harm to your body than your skin cells can handle. People are also seeing the dermatologist more, so detection rates are higher and melanomas and other skin cancers are caught earlier. And we 100% know from actual substantial scientific evidence that UV rays do cause skin cancer. So when you skip your sunscreen, you're actually increasing your chances of skin cancer versus using and reapplying sunscreen daily, no matter if it's blazing hot or cloudy outside. There are few things we know that can literally cause cancer. We know that tobacco smoke causes cancer. UV rays from the sun and tanning beds is another one that we know for sure causes cancer. We really can't say that about a lot of things. Interestingly, we are getting more evidence that certain foods could be linked to cancer, namely more processed foods like processed oils and processed meats. So in terms of skin cancer prevention, in addition to protecting yourself from UV rays, eating a well-balanced diet full of antioxidants and minimizing these processed foods can be helpful for your body's immune system to fight cancer, including skin cancer. All right, another reason why people worry that sunscreen causes cancer, it's because by protecting from UV rays, there's a concern that the sunscreen will also block vitamin D. But you can actually still get adequate vitamin D levels even with effective sunscreen use. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Okay, but on the flip side, just because you're outside does not necessarily mean that you're guaranteed adequate vitamin D levels, all right? I've seen plenty of patients who are in the sun all day or who have like tan, leathery skin, yet they're still deficient in vitamin D. Vitamin D, I think, is more complex than just going outside, okay? It's influenced by your individual factors like your metabolism, your immune system, your overall health and functioning of your body, and that can determine how your body absorbs and processes vitamin D. So you can protect your skin and maintain your vitamin D levels even with sunscreen on. It's all about balance. There's also a myth out there that's linked to studies about organic sunscreen ingredients. These are also known as chemical sunscreen ingredients. And in some research, high doses of these ingredients were administered to animals and led to endocrine disruption. But these doses were significantly higher than what any human would typically ever be exposed to when using sunscreen as directed. Now the concern seems to stem from a misunderstanding that conflates sunscreen causing endocrine disruption to sunscreen causing cancer. First, the risk of endocrine disruption is really low to non-existent in humans, okay? But second, it's not even related to the development of cancer. People just think, oh, endocrine disruption, therefore cancer. 
So while it's crucial to stay informed about the products that we use, it's also equally important to not believe unconfirmed concerns that deter us from practicing safe sun care. Which actually leads me to my last belief as to why I think people say sunscreen causes cancer and what I think is the most common reason. And that is misinformation, which spreads like wildfire through your social networks or through social media. A lot of people come to this belief because they heard influencers they trust or people they respect suggest it, whether they hear it on social media platforms or casual conversations, without any solid evidence to back up those claims. This kind of talk can gain momentum and spread widely, which underlines the importance of questioning the sources of our information and seeking out credible evidence before drawing your conclusions, especially when it comes to health-related matters. Despite the rumors and unfounded claims that you might come across on social media or through your friends or family, it's important to remember the proven benefits benefits of sunscreen. Protecting your skin from harmful UV rays with a reliable sunscreen is a critical step in preventing skin cancer and maintaining overall skin health. I mean, as a dermatologist, I could theoretically like make more money if people did not wear sunscreen. So we're not just saying use sunscreen because we have some other like weird ulterior motive. We see the evidence, we see skin cancer like all the time in our practice. And so our motivation is for you to have healthy skin so you don't have to go through the annoying process of having to deal with skin cancer, because <laughs> it's really annoying. Some of my favorite safe and effective sunscreen products for your face are La Roche-Posay Antilios Tinted Mineral, Skin Better Science Tone Smart Sunscreen, the Color Science No Show Mineral Sunscreen, Ulta MD UV Clear Sunscreen, Eucerin Sensitive Tinted Mineral Face Lotion, The Summer Fridays has a nice one, The Shade Drops Broad Spectrum Mineral Milk Sunscreen, and many more, which you can check out at the link below. And to protect your entire body, I love Neutrogena's Sheer Zinc Kids Mineral Sunscreen, the Blue Lizard's Australian Baby Mineral Sunscreen, and La Roche-Posay's Antilio's Kids Gentle Sunscreen Face and Body Lotion. And I have even more listed in the link below. But while ensuring you're using the right products, it's also important to be cautious about any changes that you see in your skin. I tell patients to look out for the ABCDEs of melanoma. So asymmetry, irregular borders, varied or dark colors, diameter greater than six millimeters, and any evolving characteristics or changes in your moles or spots. Also keep an eye out for any new or unusual growths, especially if they don't wanna go away. This could be indicative of non-melanoma skin cancers, which are common as you get older. They can appear as pink or pearly bumps, and they can sometimes be smooth, shiny, or scaly and rough. Okay, so while it's essential to question and validate the information that we see, we also have to remember that there is so much information on the internet. Not everything you see is true, and crazy claims like sunscreen causes cancer should always be taken with caution. Please don't let these myths deter you from practicing safe sun habits. When it comes to your health, it's better to be guided by evidence and expertise rather than speculation. As we know, environmental factors and lifestyle changes have influenced cancer rates, but it's not fair to point fingers at sunscreens. The science doesn't support the fear. Sunscreens have been and remain a critical tool in our fight against skin cancer. So I encourage you to use them wisely, stay informed and take a full 360 approach to your skincare routine. Also, when it comes to protecting your skin from the sun, I am a huge fan of sun protective clothing. So you wanna look for fabrics that say UPF, but clothing can play a big role as well as things like hats, sunglasses, seeking shade, avoiding sun during peak hours, which is 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So there are other things on top of sunscreen because nothing by itself is 100%. Even if you do all these things, you are not 100% protected from the sun, but that's okay. You know, we have to live our lives. Anyways, I hope you found this video on whether or not sunscreen causes cancer informative. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about skincare tips and sun protection, be sure to download my free gift, my top five skincare favorites. And remember to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel to start your holistic wellness journey for your mind, body, and skin. Thanks for watching.